I'm Brittany Peacock with SCDOT, and today is day two of the 2019 Highway Engineering Conference. I'm standing here with Andy Leaphart. He is the Chief Engineer for Operations, and he just gave a presentation on Project Lifeline, which was SCDOT's response to the hurricanes last year. So Andy, could you explain for those who were not in attendance, give us a brief summary of why you believe Project Lifeline was so successful? You know, we first started studying last year's hurricane and, and, and the anticipated floodwaters that were coming to South Carolina. Um, we were looking at possibly 275,000 people along the Grand Strand area being cut off from, you know, valuable services or essential supplies. Uh, we were told they would probably have about a four-day supply of food and water, and then after that, you know, they would essentially be on a, an island isolated from the rest of the state. So based on the information we had is the amount of rain that was coming and the amount of floodwaters that would come our way we looked at the elevations of our roadways and the projections on where the water would rise to and looked at what roads we could protect so we could keep one route open in and out of the grand strand area okay thank you and um should in the future that a hurricane hit south carolina again and SC scdot is um forced to respond how would you reassure the community that um the department has things handled sure you know we Again, we'd go back to the lessons we learned this time and, and how our team responded. Again, we were able to save that road. Um, the, fortunately for South Carolina, the floodwaters were not as bad as we anticipated or, or as were originally forecasted, but we know we would have lost portions of 501. It would have overtopped with water. Um, so to be able to keep that open again, to move quickly with no experience, now we've got a little more experienced team. So um, we're, like I said, we're, we're confident in the, in the team we have in place that we can go out and, and do the things we need to keep our state um, alive and healthy. This is the second and final day for the 2019 Highway Engineering Conference. Those in attendance visited various engineering related booths and sessions. If you'd like to know more specifically about Project Lifeline, you can visit our SCDOT social media pages. Mm -hmm.